नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज सूरत सोमा प्रकाश शेट आई एम स्टडीइंग इन श्री धर्मस्थल मंजुनाथेश्वर कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी धारवाड ई एंड सी इंजीनियरिंग माय नेटिव इज सिरसी उत्तर कन्नड डिस्ट्रिक्ट टुडे आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन द रिसीवर मॉडल दिस कॉन्सेप्ट विल कम इन द नॉइस इन कंटिन्यूस योर चैप्टर एंड आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द एस एन आर एंड सम टर्मिनोलॉजीज फॉर दिस कॉन्सेप्ट आई रेफर्ड Simon Haiken book and the college notes provided by HDM CET and some YouTube lectures. Okay. Now we will start with today's lecture. In this video, I will explain you about the receiver model and signal to noise ratio (SNR) and SNRC, SNRI, and SNRO. Okay. In this block diagram, we have receiver part. Okay. Just recall. the block diagram of a general communication system in that general communication system the first block we write it as a message signal the second block is transmitter third block is channel fourth block is receiver and fifth block is user of information and in the channel box we are writing another separate box called as a noise noise is added in that channel so here we are concentrating on only the receiver part why because noise is added at the channel or a intermediate stage when the noise get added we are going to see the signal to noise ratio so now we are concentrating only on the receiver part when the noise is added at the intermediate part no need to check at the transmitter part at the transmitter part no noise will be there while transmission of a signal noise will get added so we are concentrating on the receiver model only in this block diagram we have s of t here s of t is nothing but a modulated signal means a signal which passed from that communication channel and we have a summer and w of t that is nothing but a noise and we have a bpf bpf is nothing but a band pass filter and output of this band pass filter is again fed to the demodulator and from the demodulator we are getting the output signal and i write some terminology is here snrc snri snr not okay we will go in detail with all these things and x of t i write here because it is nothing but s of t into n of t it is a narrow band noise okay now we'll see about signal to noise ratio after that we'll come to terminologies okay now signal to noise ratio it is nothing but snr it is defined as the ratio of the signal power to the noise power means it is a quantity or we can call it as a one terminology snr it is nothing but a signal upon noise that is ps upon pn what is ps here signal power what is a pn here it is a noise power then signal bar n or a signal bar noise if i want to express this term in decibels then the formula will be 10 log ps upon pn okay ps is a power of a signal and pn is a power of a noise if i want to express in terms of voltages then i will convert this formula see ps is nothing but a vs square upon r what is a vs here it is a voltage of a signal and r is a resistance and pn is equals to vn square upon r what is a vn here it is a voltage of a noise it's a resistance now simply i will substitute this value in this formula so that i get it as a 10 log vs upon vn the whole square this rr will get cancels then snr db that is equals to 20 log vs upon vn okay how this 20 will come due to the property of a logarithm log to the whole raised to n it is a n log something right or a, this quantity so snr at decibel is nothing but a 20 log vs upon vn so signal to noise ratio is nothing but it is a quantity or it is defined as a ratio of a signal power to the noise power it is signal upon noise ps upon pn now we'll see about this terminologies snr signal to noise ratio snrc signal to noise ratio at channel snri signal to noise ratio at input snro signal to noise ratio at output c here we are getting the signal from the channel right so we call it as the snrc signal to noise ratio the channel and we are getting 
the signal here means it is an input to the demodulator. Receiver part mainly contains the demodulator, so I will consider this as an input to demodulator. So I will call it as SNRI, and this is the output SNRO. Okay, another concept will be there figure of merit. I will explain it later. Okay, I think you know of now you are able to know about the signal to noise ratio. It is nothing but a ratio of power of a signal to the power of noise. Now we have some note regarding this signal to noise ratio. See, higher value of SNR is required. Means if we want a one very good system or a stable system, higher value of SNR is required. SNR is good for transmitter as well as receiver. We should have high value of SNR to detect a weak signal. Means what is the part or a, what is the function of the receiver is to detect a signal, right? To detect a signal and to extract the information from that. So the signal to noise ratio should be very much high and signal to noise ratio is good for transmitter as well as a receiver we should have a high value of signal to noise ratio to detect a weak signal okay and uh, two important thing uh, probably most of us will make a mistake while calculating the problem while calculating the snr using voltage the formula is 20 log vs upon vn Okay, while calculating the SNR using power, the formula is 10 log PS upon PN. Okay, this is nothing about the signal to noise ratio. Now, there are some assumptions regarding this SNR. Now, I will just read this concept and we have one diagram. By seeing the diagram, I will explain this. Noise is additive, white and Gaussian having power spectral density and not bar 2 where N0 is the average noise power per unit bandwidth. Band pass filter is assumed ideal having the bandwidth equal to the transmission bandwidth BT of the modulated signal centered at FC. Okay. Just read these sentences. Now I will show you one diagram so that you can clearly understood about this concept. The noise N of t resulting from the passage of white noise W of t through the filter is shown in the diagram. Okay, just see this diagram. What is this? Fc, right? Fc is nothing but a carrier frequency. Fc. And what we have? Bt. What is this Bt? Bt is nothing but a transmission bandwidth. Transmission bandwidth. What is this N0 by 2? It is a spectral density. And what is this? Sn of f. In a Laplace domain, this is a frequency, right? In this diagram, see, this is a centered at FC, right? Centered at carrier frequency. And transmission bandwidth we have. Transmission bandwidth we have. Means here we are explaining if the bandpass filter is ideal, if the bandpass filter is ideal, the bandwidth is equal to the transmission bandwidth and centered at FC. That is the meaning of that sentence. Means we, if we consider that band pass filter as ideal, the band pass or a, that bandwidth of that filter will be equal to the transmission bandwidth BT and centered at FC. Okay. This is a simple diagram and N0 by 2 is a spectral density per unit bandwidth. Okay. For a certain amount of bandwidth, the spectral density should be N0 bar 2. N0, N0 is a Spectral density per unit bandwidth, right? This is a N0 by 2. And here, this, this range is N0 by 2. This whole axis is SN of F. This range is N0 by 2. SN of F is the whole axis and frequency. The total noise power at the demodulated input is equal to the total area under the curve of SN of F. The total area under this curve will be equal to the total noise power. This total area. Typically, FC is large compared to the transmission bandwidth BT. Therefore, the filtered noise N of T is treated as a narrow band noise represented. I already told that narrow band noise in the block diagram of receiver model. Just rewind this video and check, check that block diagram. You will find this narrow band noise. Okay, we are represented this as a N of T. The noise, what we are getting is, we are representing it as a N of T. That is nothing but 
n1 of t cos 2 pi of ct minus n2 of t sin 2 pi of ct where n1 of t and n2 of t are the phase and quadrature component we already learnt about this phase and quadrature carrier multiplexing in amplitude modulation okay this thing uh, n1 of t cos 2 pi of ct minus n2 of t sin 2 pi of ct both are measured with respect to their carrier that is ac cos 2 pi of ct where ac is a carrier where ac is the amplitude of the carrier and fc is nothing but a frequency of the carrier okay so the noise n of t is explained as n1 of cos 2 pi of ct minus n2 of sin 2 pi of ct okay now i think uh, you people understood about the snr and the assumptions of snr and the receiver model block diagram of that receiver model now we will see some terminologies regarding snri snrc snr not and figure of merit see all these things are terminologies okay snri is nothing but input signal to the noise ratio signal to noise ratio now i am adding one term called as input input signal to noise ratio therefore it is defined as the ratio of average power of modulated signal to the average power of the filtered noise okay snri nothing but a uh, ratio of average power of modulated signal to the average power of the filtered noise okay now snr of not or snro it is nothing but a ratio of average power of demodulated signal to the average power of the noise okay average power of the filtered noise or average power of the noise now channel signal to the noise ratio snrc snrc is the ratio of average power of modulated signal to the average power of the noise in the message bandwidth see all these three formulas are different okay see here we are taking average power of a modulated signal because at the input side we are getting the modulated signal after passing to the channel we are getting the modulated signal at the part of the input so we are taking as a average power of the modulated signal to the ratio to the average power of the filtered noise means we are getting the signal to noise ratio i already taken signal at the input part what will be there modulated signal will be there signal to noise ratio at the upper part i should write signal at the lower part i should write noise right at the upper part modulated signal why it is an input side at the lower part i am writing the noise okay so it's the average power of a filtered noise okay this is nothing but snri see in output signal at the output what what will be there demodulated signal means from the transmitter the signal is converted to the modulated signal and from the demodulator it is converted as a demodulated signal so average power of a demodulated signal i should take here because it is at the output part and signal to noise ratio noise will be there then the average power of the noise i think these two are very easy to remember if we understood the concept of this modulation and demodulation this is very simple signal to noise ratio signal will be in a numerator noise will be in a denominator at the input part modulated signal will be there so snr i should be the average power of modulated signal to the average power of the noise we know about the snr snr is nothing but a power of a signal to the power of noise right now here little bit confusion will be there channel signal to the noise ratio snr c average power of a modulated signal c in snr we are in snr at the channel channel from the output of the channel we are getting the modulated signal and from the and we are giving input to the channel to be the modulated signal here both the side modulated signal so i am taking average power of the modulated signal only output of the channel is modulated signal input to the channel is also modulated signal so i will take average power of modulated signal only then what will be the noise there in general block diagram system we write very briefly right so average power of noise in a message bandwidth whatever the message bandwidth will be there then the average power of that noise we are taking and we will explain it as a snrc okay this is about snrc now we have another terminology called figure of merit for the receiver the total whole receiver model we are taking another terminology as a figure of merit fom or a form 
that is nothing but a ratio of snr at output side to the snr at channel side okay here higher value of the figure of merit will be better will be the noise performance of the receiver okay we should have a higher value of the figure of merit why see if if we want the figure of merit value should be high then snr should go downwards right means here snrc value should be lower so that fom will be increased okay means at the channel if the component of the noise will be lower then figure of merit will be very much high okay if the higher value of snr is required for the good performance of the system okay this is the nothing but uh, snr concepts signal to noise ratio and uh, in this video i covered receiver model signal to noise ratio signal to noise ratio at the input side signal to noise ratio at the output side signal to noise ratio at the channel side thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel thank you one and all